Oh my god. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you guys with a really fun video. I'm gonna be responding to some of your assumptions about me, so things that you guys assume about me. I'm gonna be addressing those, answering those, saying if they're right or wrong, talking a little bit about them. So it should be a really fun video, it should be interesting, and I should be spilling some tea. Oh, this is espresso, it's not tea, but. I am sleep deprived right now, overly caffeinated, and working on another cup of coffee. So pretty much everything you need to film a solid video, we're ready to go. Really quickly, before we get into some of the assumptions, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I try to post a lot of fun content and stuff on there for you guys. Plus I post a lot of polls and questions and stuff like that. So if you wanna participate in videos like this in the future, you're definitely gonna wanna be following my Instagram. And another thing I wanna say, just a little disclaimer before we get started, if you can hear, I do have a little bit of a lisp right now, and that is because I'm wearing my retainer. So you might be asking yourself, oh Paige, why are you wearing your retainer if you don't normally wear your retainer? I'll show you right now. Mm-hmm. Everything looks good, life looks great. Watch this. As you can see, I am missing my front tooth. Wasn't lying in the last video when I said it fell out. It fell out. Don't really know what else to say. I'm gonna get it fixed eventually. Still working on the logistics of that, like which dentist I'm gonna go to, how to get it done the right way, stuff like that. So for now, I'm just gonna have to wear this retainer and suck it up and make the most of it. But wow, I look like a freaking idiot right now. So I'm gonna put this back in. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, smile's back intact. We're looking a little bit better on this end. Um, Really quickly, one more thing before we get into the video. I wanted to talk to you guys about a company that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's called Scentbird. I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not. They are sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring. So Scentbird is actually a really cool fragrance subscription service that gives you the option to shop over 600 different brands. I don't know about you guys, but I love smelling good. I love smelling fresh and spicy. <laughs> but it's really hard, at least for me, to commit to buying a perfume online because I can't smell it through the screen. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'm sure you can relate. Like, I'm always worried to buy a perfume online without testing it out first. Scentbird essentially solves that problem for you by sending you fragrances each month that you can try out for 30 days or so, decide if you like it, and then if you do, you know which products smell good, you know which ones you're not a fan of. So it's really cool. And each month you get to pick out a couple of designer fragrances, whatever you want online, and then it comes in this cute little packaging like this, and it just twists open like that. Oh, oh my god, I love the smell of this one. It's so freaking good. <laughs> so right now I'm using the Vanilla Sky perfume by Skylar. It looks like this. Normally the bottle is completely full up to here, but I've been using this for like the past couple weeks. So it smells so delicious. As soon as I put it on, I swear both my roommates came in and were like, what is that smell? Why does it smell so good? I'm like, girl, that's me. And it's because of Scentbird. I smell delicious, I know. <laughs> so if you also wanna smell delicious, I highly recommend trying out Scentbird. You can take a really simple quiz on their website to find out which fragrances might be right for you. And then again, if you sign up, you'll get a 30 day supply of whatever fragrance you choose. Every single month you get a new one. If you wanna skip the month for some reason, you totally can, it's really flexible. I highly, highly recommend trying out this Vanilla Sky one by Skylar. And the other one that I've really, really been loving is the CK1 by Calvin Klein. Oh my God, it's just to die for. Like, if you don't know where to start, I would start with those two because trust me, they're delicious. And of course, I have a little discount code for you guys as well. So if you're interested in trying out Scentbird, you can click the link down below and use my code on the screen here and you'll actually get 30% off your first order. Really, really love what this company is doing. I think it's such a smart idea. So definitely click the link down below, try it out and let me know if you do because I'm really interested if you guys like these scents. Okay guys, and with that, it is time to get started with the assumptions. The first one we're gonna do, I have a whole bunch on my phone here. I'm just gonna click random ones that I screenshotted. Okay, let me scooch over. <laughs> the first one is from Arielle, and she says, you already know what you want to do in the future. Um, that's kind of true, but also not true at all. Like, I'm currently studying public relations right now at American University where I go to college. And while I enjoy the major, I definitely know it's something I don't wanna do long term in life. I think I'm much more interested in kind of the creative aspect of it, maybe the marketing and advertising side of it. So I'd really like to do something like that in the future. Next assumption is that you always get stressed with college and YouTube. That is so true. I feel like especially as of recently, it's been very difficult for me to find a balance between YouTube and college. And when you're in a pandemic and there's not much happening, I get this huge, like overwhelming, like pressure to have to make something fun or do something for the vlog or bring all this energy. And that can just be so exhausting because it's just so much more difficult to find content, to create stuff that is gonna be interesting for you guys to watch 
and I don't want to let you down, so that stresses me out. Next assumption is that I have dyed my hair blonde once. Yes, I have, and it was the worst mistake of my life. Let me insert a little picture of what I was looking like when I dyed my hair. You can tell by my facial expression here that it was a horrible moment for Paige. I asked my hairdresser to just kind of do like sun-kissed highlights and she like bleached the crap out of it. I had like huge tiger stripes going down the side of my hair. My bangs were super blonde and it was just atrocious. Okay, next assumption comes from Carolyn and she says, you party a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't even deny that. I definitely like to go out and have a good time. Okay, the next assumption is that I'm quiet in real life. Low key, like I don't even know how to answer that. Um, I think I am kind of quiet in real life. If I'm entering like a new social situation where I don't know anybody, I'm definitely like more quiet, more reserved. I'm not gonna be the life of the party. But if I'm around people who I'm comfortable with, I can be funny sometimes. I can be a little bit more outgoing, I'd say. I don't know how I come across in my videos. I don't know if you guys think I'm quiet or not. I would say I have a pretty bubbly personality. And I think I'm pretty true to that in real life too. I'm pretty bubbly, happy, like easygoing, not really trying to start fights, you know? Okay, next assumption, I got this one like at least 30 times. Like everybody assumed this about me and that is that I have a boyfriend. No ma'am, I do not. I really wish that I had a secret boyfriend that I was keeping hidden from you guys, but I really don't. Okay, next assumptions from Katie and she says, you and Nadine aren't friends anymore. <sighs> hmm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We totally are still friends. I love Nadine to death. I think she's the best person ever. I would say we're less close than we were last year, but it's totally just because of circumstance. Last year, I happened to live in a dorm room with her. We are in very close proximity with each other all the time. We spent so much time together. And now because I live in a different apartment than she does, we just naturally end up spending less time together. But in no way are we not friends anymore. I think we're still really close friends. Okay, next assumption is that I want to be an influencer full time. Absolutely not. Oh my god, no. When I graduate college, I am most definitely looking for a quote-unquote real job. I would love to do something more substantial, something more permanent, and I also just don't like the whole stigma that goes along with being an influencer. I, I'm a huge overthinker myself, and I hate thinking what other people are thinking about me, and I just... Mm -mm. Next assumption is that I have completely changed my personality since high school. I would say yes and no to this. I don't think I like made any effort consciously to change my personality, but I think I have changed and grown as a person. I like myself a lot better now, I won't lie. High school page was kind of whack. <laughs> Next assumption is from Marissa and she says, you make bank from YouTube, PS I love you. I love you too, Marissa, thank you for the question. I wouldn't say I make bank, I don't know what you would classify that to be, but I definitely make quite a bit of money from YouTube. I don't know if people realize how much money you can make off this stuff, but for a college student, I would say that this is a very financially advantageous job to have. Definitely making more money than minimum wage at like a barista job somewhere. So I'm incredibly thankful for that. I've also been able to put a lot of money away in like a CD for savings for later. All right, next assumption is you've probably never smoked weed. Believe what you will. All right, a next assumption is a kind of deep one. And that is, I kind of feel like you were depressed, but you try so very hard to give us only the positive vibes assuming you mean in videos. This is a tough one. When you see me like dancing around and vlogs and stuff in the kitchen, like that is me doing it for myself, trying to like manifest good energy for the day. Like I'm not trying to fake you guys out like, oh, I'm so positive all the time. No, I'm just trying to keep myself positive. But do I definitely have bad days where I'm curled up in a ball in my bed for most of the day? Sure. And the reason I don't vlog those days is not because I'm trying to hide anything from you guys or make you think I'm positive all the time when low-key I'm depressed. No, that's not the case at all. It's just that when you're having a really bad day and you're crying or you're sad for whatever reason, it is nearly impossible to turn on a vlog camera and show it to the internet. Like, that's asking a lot. Next assumption is that I am a nerd. 100% I'm the biggest undercover nerd there is. I'm so into history. I know like all the words to Hamilton the Broadway musical. I'm also a huge English person. Ask me to analyze any piece of writing and I will nerd out so hard. Like, I love it. I really do. I'm a huge nerd and I'm not ashamed of it at all. Okay, this next assumption comes from Iz and she said, you've previously suffered an eating disorder. Sorry if that's too personal. This is kind of a touchy subject for me so I wasn't sure if I was going to address it or not, but I think I'll speak a little bit on it. 
I definitely have suffered with disordered eating in the past. Whew, yeah, it's not something I'm very comfortable talking about, but you guys know now, I'm such an advocate for eating healthy, treating your body right, working out. And I would say that mindset and me being so passionate about that definitely comes because I used to be in a place where I wasn't like that and I didn't have a good relationship with food and I was very scared of food. I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe one day in a video I'll speak a little bit more about the specifics of what I've been through. If you're ever struggling with something like that, please reach out to me, DM me on Instagram. We can have a little chat because I wanna be there for you and I understand how difficult it can be and just how mentally draining that crap can be. I, I get it. All right, we'll do a couple more guys. Next assumption is you are bi. Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I really haven't had that many experiences with the ladies, but I'm not like opposed to it. Like if an opportunity were to present itself, I'd be like, all right, if I'm feeling it in the moment. But no, I really wouldn't classify myself as bisexual. I don't know if I come across that way. Maybe I do, but <laughs> I, I would say no. <laughs> all right, next assumption is from Hannah and she says, you want to get another tattoo and or piercing. Yes, definitely, I totally do. Um, right now, I have a couple piercings going on this ear. I don't know if you guys can see this. So I have the two cartilage piercings here that I wanna swap out for a hoop at some point. Then I have the three holes there. So I wanna add something else on this ear, possibly like right here or a little bit higher, just to balance out the metal on both sides of my face. Okay, last assumption we're gonna answer is this one. I thought this was funny. And it is, you love peanut butter with pickles. I'm actually not sure if that assumption is true or not. I can't recall a time when I sat down with a pickle and dipped it into peanut butter, but you know what? We might as well try it out right now. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> I got me some pickles. Also got me some Skippy peanut butter. We're gonna make this happen right now, live on camera. We're gonna see if your assumption is correct or not. If I could ever open this jar of pickles. Crap, whew. Okay, we got it. I should say, I love pickles and peanut butter both separately on their own, but will I like them together? That's what we're gonna find out. I feel like I'm doing another one of my testing weird food combinations videos, which I did over the summer. I can link that down below if you wanna watch that too, but I really wanna do a part two to that at some point, so let me know if you guys would be interested. I think that'd be fun to film with like me and my roommates in it. Got me a little pickle with some peanut butter on it. Here we go. Lots of flavor going on. I wouldn't say it's my favorite combination. I don't think I would ever sit down for a snacking session and, and grab these two items, but I would say the assumption's wrong. I don't really enjoy that flavor combo. <laughs> and oh my God, look who came to visit. Ugh. Oh my God, my cat's freaking out. The little signori. How are you, baby? This is Tucker. He's my favorite cat out of my three that I have. He doesn't like me very much, but that's okay. It's just one-sided love, it's fine. And that is everything for today's little video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know I had a fun time filming this video, honestly, just like sitting down, talking to the camera, super chill, not having to vlog. It was just really relaxing, really laid back, and I hope that it was entertaining for you guys. Comment down below any other sit-down videos you might want me to do. Maybe I was thinking about doing like a truth or drink with my roommates, possibly, or we could do like who's more likely to, something like that. I don't know, any kind of challenges or type of video that you think would be interesting that's different than just a normal college vlog, totally comment it down below. I'll be looking through the comments after this video because I could really use some more ideas and more inspiration for videos to post. And yes, that is really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you next Sunday in the next video. Mwah.